She is a crisp, beautiful morning out here. Look at this. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. So the other day we had freaking rainstorms left and right, and then it went to full-blown snowstorms. So as you can see, it got pretty chilly. Everything we messed up is now frozen solid, so that's nice, nice and rough. I did get the Maverick washed up. It only took me an hour. There's still a little bit of dirt on it, but it's mostly, I would say, 99% clean. So we got Grayson back here again. We tried to get the Jeep going after the big burnout there, but she's not having any of it. I don't know what we did to it, but it's just like, nope. So luckily we still have that other Jeep, so maybe next week we'll jump it. And then if the engine's still running, we'll try and blow up the engine. But for now, this Jeep, she's scrap. She's scrap parts now, so. We'll take the tires off it and then take it back to the scrapyard. I gotta do a few scrap runs anyways. Take the original Jeep back, take this one back, maybe next week when I have time. But for now, we're gonna have a nice little Maverick day in the snow, so. We got my drone, he's got his professional cameras. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna fire this thing up. She runs well. A few people were asking about parts on it. The, the light bar is from Aux Light Beams. Um, Tires and rims are STI off-road. The bumper's from Can-Am. The window is from Super ATV. Uh, the straps are from Can-Am, roof's from Can-Am. The muffler is from MBRP, and it's a full cat delete system, so there's no cat on it. Um, yeah, and I have a GoPro mount right there, and that's from China. Don't buy the actual GoPro cases. They're way too expensive. Just buy these on Amazon. They're like 10, 15 bucks. And if you smash them, you don't care. The, the original GoPro one is like $90. So anyways, for now, let's fire this thing up and go for a wide open rip. I got my full helmet and my balaclava this time because snow gets in there and it gets freaking cold. Fire it up. Burns like a kitten.
case anybody's wondering. Every time the snow goes back, it loses me. <laughs> I had a feeling that was coming. What was it? A blue belt. <laughs> Basically a chain. The bell is blown, kids. We uh, we knew eventually it was going to happen. I figured either the other day when I was mudding there, or today when, you know, it's hard on it going wide open in this uh, four-wheel drive, wide open, you know, just doing donuts because the belt does get hot. So I put a pretty hard year on it, so it was worth it, whatever the $200 belt is. But yeah, what did you think of that? That was a, that was a slight rip right there. <laughs> Not too bad. We got some good GoPro footage. Geez, I haven't blown a belt in years. I used to blow belts once a year on my sled, but on those razors we used to have, we used to blow, blow belts all the time. But yeah, it's hard on it doing this stuff, especially in four wheel drive, because it's working so hard and then the tires will catch and it's, and there's a vent there that's, you know, when you're going fast, it cools down the belt, but when you're not moving fast, the belt, it doesn't get air and the belt gets hot, so. Anyways, belt is blown, so I guess we got the tow strap down here. You're gonna have to tow me home, <laughs> and then we'll put her in the garage. I don't have time to change it today, but I'll get her changed next week. It's pretty, pretty simple. Take all the bolts out, throw the new one on. So, um, yeah, I tried not to dust your truck. Well, it's just a Dodge. So. I think you did pretty good. So who cares? But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys liked that video. Here's some weeds. Um, yeah, if you're ever in store to get a side-by-side, -side, I suggest the Maverick DS because it's not super wide. It comes stock, I think, 64, and I made it to 68. So, and then the XRS, I think, is 72 or 73, so. But they're too wide for the trails. Like, this one barely fits in the trails already, but uh, I definitely have a super awesome time on this thing, if you guys haven't been able to tell. It's 200 horsepower too. I got it up to two, 200 and it's got a blow off valve. So um, anyways, we're going to wrap this up for now. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry we couldn't blow up the Jeep, but we do have another Jeep to blow up. So for now, I'm going to get out of here, go do some editing and take off for the weekend. It's currently Friday in our world. I know it's probably Monday or Tuesday in the YouTube world. But thank you guys again. Make sure you leave some comments. Feel free to make fun of Dodge, Grayson, or my Can-Am that just blew a belt. And uh, have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys later.